What's going on gamers, it's Brothers War pre-release weekend, and I just got done with my pre-release last night at, uh, yeah, I went to like 1am, but that's fine, because I like playing Magic. The store I go to for pre-releases usually does a pack per win model, so we went to one and we got two draft boosters. But, because we stayed the whole time, we also got two set boosters as compensation, and I thought, hey, this set was cool, so I'm also gonna buy a bundle to open on camera, because it has the Transformers cards in it, which are, um, Pretty cool crossover. And before that even, we are going to open up some mail because I got a lot of trading cards in the mail today. And I thought, let's just make a whole big video of it. So let's start with the mail. Uh, we're gonna have it upside down so I don't accidentally dox myself because that'd be unintentionally hilarious. But I bought a bunch of stuff to like bling out my commander decks and I figure we'll, uh, we'll show that on camera. But yeah, I've been playing a lot more Magic lately. It's been a good time just because I think the current Yu-Gi-Oh! format is good, but I don't have the mental capacity to really understand how to play tier and play against it well. I might build flu to try and compete, but we'll see. But in the meantime, I've been working on magic. So for our first little package, we got the Talisman of Resilience for my food chain deck and as Miranda no more did a nice and a cool to car, so we're in that pronunciation. Because I want to build a commander deck around this, I thought, hey, when I get textured old border, and I need this for a deck. Uh, next package, we got like six of these, so bear with me. Next one is in a brown box. Interesting. They've been, these are, I, these, these have been very, very nice packaging, you know? Thank you. Maybe, maybe the eBay merge with TCG player gave them a bigger budget to a uh, package. Anyway, we got ourselves a Talisman of Creativity. Um, I bought this because I bought all the Talismans in uh, Old Border Textured Foil because I think they look nice, and they're good to have if I ever build a deck based off of them. So if I ever build a blue-red deck, uh, that'll be really useful. All right, now TCG Player Direct. This one will be the uh, crapshoot because, uh, you know, they're always, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're actually gonna pull this one off the screen because I want you to see my address. Thank you, TCG Player Direct. You're, uh, it always astounds me how good your uh, packaging skills are. Now this one, oh, they got a little ad, was a damn because I thought it'd be funny. Uh, and of course I gotta get the textured old border as well because it's just so pretty. It's honestly one of my favorite rarities. It rivals, it rivals old ulti for me with how pretty it is, especially on the old borders. Next we got uh, Land of War Tribe for my elf deck. Nice little foil upgrade. I think every single card I ordered is old border textured foil. Speaking of, we got the uh, Underworld Cookbook for Esmeralda and Winnemar or Denise Kuldekar. Very cool. And we got Talisman of Conviction for Dinosaurs. So now we got the little little mini impromptu mail day out of the way. Let's go open some packs. So let's open the uh, draft boosters first because they got like the least amount of cool stuff in them. And they were my prizes. So for those of you who don't know the... Oops. My camera. For those of you who don't know the difference between draft boosters and set boosters, draft boosters are what you use to draft. So it's got the traditional... um. 12 commons, 3 uncommons, and 1 rare. Set boosters, they do not follow that pattern, instead they have a variable amount of each rarity, and they have chances of getting like list cards and get multiple rares, they have certain oil treatments that aren't possible in draft boosters, it's weird, but they're more fun to open on camera. And for Brothers War specifically, they have old border artifacts as a reprint in the background. So we got an Elsewhere Clock, and this is in textured foil, which is very pretty. Ornithopter is a very good one to get. And over the top, I don't think, this card is very funny. So each player reveals the number of cards in the top of their library, equal to the number of non land permits they control. Put all the permits revealed this way onto the battlefield and put the rest in the graveyard. This is funny, because like, hey, it might hurt you more than it help you, but it is cool. And I don't think there's really anything I want in the common and uncommon slot, so we'll just, uh, go through there. But yeah, pre-release for the set was very fun. So with an, as an artifact theme, you can get away with a lot of crazy stuff because most of the cards in the set are colorless. I play the green black mill strategy. So basically you self mill and then you have cards that gain power based off of how many cards in your graveyard or there's one the top end where when you attack with it, if you have three or more creatures in your graveyard, you can draw a card. Very good, a very fun strategy. It took me two one. Only person I lost to had two goblin charbelchers and uh, they had a, a very busted mythic. I also had the rare Mishra who gives all of your artifacts in your graveyard on earth. Unearthing a 10-10 Trampler. I see. Also, this set has the um, full art uh, lands. This one's a Mish um, an Urza land. It's got the huge like robot in the background. Pretty neat. And we got an Icker Wellspring. Oh, this card's okay. Ooh, we got Gix. Gix, Gix, Gix. I wanted one of these. So this is actually the first time Gix has ever gotten a card, even though he's like one of the most important characters in the magic story. Um, He's the guy who basically corrupted Mishra. He's the first Praetor of Yawgmoth. For those of you who understand, you get it. But yeah, this is a neat little pickup. I don't know how good he is, but maybe he'll go into my uh, Yehani commander deck, or I'll make a commander deck out of him. Who knows? Now we're on to the set boosters, which are much more entertaining to open. All right, so we got a very, very pretty soldier token. Look at that guy. And it's backwards. Got the art card. I like the art cards. I just think they're kind of like chaffy though. Uh, land, 
scroll through the commons and uncommons. There's not really anything I want out of here. The biggest things I'm looking for are list cards too, because list cards are just kind of fun. So basically they're a reprint of a card that is in its original frame, but it's got like a little symbol right in the bottom corner and they can be from anything. I think the list cards for this set are pretty good. Uncommons, we got Well of Lost Dreams as our old border. Burnish Heart's not bad. For Commander, a second over the top and a Foil Scrapper. Nothing great out of that one. Maybe this one will be a little better. For our art card, we got that guy. Anything on the back? No. Planes. Um, I also want to get the oops, Mishra and the Urzas because they're cool. Um, they have like the metal cards. If you ever played Pokemon, if you know in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they did like the legendaries that uh, the legendary Pokemon that are like two cards that put together. They're doing that, but for Magic cards as well, which I haven't done in a few, quite a few years. This card right here instrumental in me doing well in limited because it's a two man uh death toucher or it's a six man of five four death toucher very strong this thing uh also pretty good all the um prototype creatures were very strong in uh draft Ooh, we got a transformer card this is a big reason why i wanted to open this set so we have prowl the stoic strategist so yeah they did a transformer crossover and they all flip over and transform into their transformer side they're very cool me if i pull enough i'll build a transformers deck but that is neat soul guide lantern had one of these Titanius Command, eh, it's alright. Um, Hero of the Dunes foil, and ooh, there is our list card, Imp's Taunt. This card's not great. Um, target your taxes turn if able, and then you got buyback. It's not great, but it's a list card. And now with that, we get to go into the bundle finally. So the bundles are cool. They're um have 10 packs, so you get a promo. We're also gonna transform this promo, lands, and a die of some kind. So I'm gonna quick Pull this out and we'll see what's inside. All right, we zoomed out a little bit so you can see this better. This is what a bundle looks like. They're nice for storage too. I store a lot of my bulk in these. And oh, they give you this thing. They're kind of like stand-ins for tokens, I guess. I don't know. Then we got all the packs and we get two die. Ooh, two dice, nice. Perfect for commander. One for Urza and one for Mishra, I believe. Actually, I don't think I was supposed to get both because this is one of two, but I got both. Anyways, here are our big old packs, so. These have lands in them and I think some promos. So you got an old border of Queen Kayla Bin Krug. I don't know how good she is, I haven't really read her, but it's a very pretty card. So she can go in the hit pile. And then you got lands. Unfortunately, they're all um, not full arts. And then we got the other pack. I think this has the non-foil lands and a transformer. Yeah, so you got Flame War Brash Veteran who turns into Flame War Streetwise Operative. I don't know this transformer very well. Um, I like Transformers when I was a kid, but I've never really gone too deep into the lore. You got some of these things, how to play magic. So if you don't want to play, how to play magic, you know, you got buy one of these. All right, after some adjustments, let's get into the rest of these packs, shall we? It feels good. I haven't opened a mass amount of packs in a while either. Urza Art Card, a Swamp, uh, the Splits Automaton. Again, not really caring about the commons or uncommons. I'm sure they're fine, but I'm also care about the hits. Uh, actually, here we have Uncommon Mishra, a very neat card. So Urza and Mishra both got like three cards each in this set. Uh, one showing them as kids, one showing them as young adults, and one showing them at like the final stage of, the, of their uh, stage in the Brothers War. So this is Mishra as a kid. Uh, Bushwhack is funny. Chromatic Star, a very good card to have. Phyrexian Dragon Engine, so this is what I was talking about earlier. So this card, um, it flips when you unearth it into the other half of Mishra something by Phyrexia. So maybe we'll pull the uh, other half of that, would be fun. Uh, Bulwark and Phyrexian Furnace is our list card. It'd be fun if you pulled like this and the uh, goggles, but not, or the, the Might Stone the Weak Stone, but not their other half. So Swamp, scroll through these a little bit. And our, ooh, Swift of Boots. Rootwire Amalgam, that's a Mythic, not bad. And a Power Stone, okay. So we're pretty hit light right now, I'll say. Maybe we'll get luckier as we go on. But two mythics ain't bad. I just kind of want like the good ones. Ooh, Mox Amber. Mox Amber's in the set. I like to pull that along with um, Diabolic Intent is my other big hit that I want. Under. Oh, here's Baby Urza. Urza, Power Stone Prodigy. He was actually very good in this format because um, he can uh, draw a card, discard a card, and make a Power Stone. Power Stone's a ramp, not bad. Hero, uh, Ornithopter again. Fateful Handoff, Demolition Field, and a Soldier. Um, that can go there, that can go there. Uh, the only rare I'm really looking for is the Diabolic Intent because I need it for Commander. It's a um, Demonic Tutor, but you have to sacrifice something, it's fine. Ooh, Chromatic Lantern Schematic. And yeah, so the show, ooh, Foil Land. The Showcase is getting one of these with like Schematic Art. If I get one, I'll pull it up, I'll uh, point it out, but yeah. Uh, Blitzwing, Cruel Tormentor. Nice, nice, nice. He has more than meets the eye into Blitzwing, Adeptive Assailant. Uh, Sculpting Steel. Urza, Prince of Krug. So this is um, Urza as a young adult. 
scavenger and that. So hoping I pull one of the shattered glass ones. So the Transformers cards, they have an alt art where they're shattered glass, which shattered glass is an alternate timeline Transformers where the Autobots are evil and the Decepticons are the good guys. Um, another one of these. Mountain, Latin Adept, Conscripted Infantry, Emergency Weld, Foots Automaton, Tokazia Dig Site, that, blah 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 blah, uh, Sigil of Valor, Temporal Anchor, I don't know if that card's any good, this guy, and a Power Stone. Come on, just give me my intent. I, I, I intend to get some intent. Uh, if not, I'll just buy one because I need one. And that really brought down the price from like 30 bucks, like the reprint brought down the price to like 10 bucks instead of 30 bucks. Nice little art. And we'll just, uh, wee! Zoom. Ooh, Cyclonus. Other side is that. Uh, we got a liquid metal coating. Uh, becomes an artifact. Tukazi's welcome and a foil. All right. No foil rare so far either, which is kind of sad. Maybe I'll get one before this ends. Maybe I'll buy a box. Who knows? Another art. Scroll. Ooh, nice forest. Through this a little bit. I think the next one's rare. Ivory Tower. Arcane Proxy, this card is actually insane. It's like Snapcaster Mage, but for Pioneer. Uh, Gruesome Realization and Soldier. So that's a very good pickup. We've been actually getting a lot of Mythics. And that one's actually, I think, the best one. Anyway, last pack. Hopefully we get something really crazy out of this. Ooh, Helm of the Host, Love Tank Statue. Uh, Ashna's Altar, uh, old art, that's very good. I could use that in my Yeheni uh, deck. Taunus the Toymaker, Disenchant. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with our pulls. We didn't get anything insane but uh, some decent stuff and some transformers cards which i was really looking for i hope you all had a good time with this and expect me some more content very soon